And before you go, can you show us a few moves with the bat? Oh, sure. You went to, because you're playing now, aren't you? you yes, I, you yeah, can you, yes I, I do. Well, the key is if you don't see it, see the ball, you can't hit it, right? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So you got to pick it up from the time it release, is released in the pitcher's hand, okay. which eventually is about 55 feet. Now, you can't hit the ball unless you have a good grip. And we talked before about having those second knuckles aligned so that your wrists are in a cock position. Okay, the third thing is a balanced stance, slightly closed, shoulder width, nice and balanced, knees slightly bent, okay? okay. And you want to come up and you want to have a good grip. Remember, you want to put the bat in your fingers. Okay. You don't want to jam it back into your hands so that when you bring it up, the bat's aligned with those second knuckles. Now your wrists are caught. Now you want to keep, keep the bat away from your body, the bat at the top of your strike zone, bottom elbow down. You want to look at the pitcher. Don't smile at him because he'll get irritated. Don't frown at him because he'll laugh. As that ball's tracking in here, you want to close the front shoulder and the front knee so you're coiling up and your stride so that when you do pivot, half of your balanced weight is on one side, half is on the other. So when you attack the ball, you lead with the knob, you make contact, keep your head on the ball, follow through and extend it, and how does that feel? Yeah, it's nice. The cold, hard that's real ash. Nice right there, so okay. you've got to hit me in the face. <laughs> yeah, that's good yeah, stuff. Yeah. One more swing now that I move back. Yeah. Good, comfortable position right here. Good grip. Front shoulder, coil, stride, short stride. Bring the knob through, head down, make contact. Think about hitting the back side of the ball so you accelerate to it. Keep on going, turn the wrist over. And it's a long fly ball to right center. Cotto goes back. He's at the wall. There will be a tomorrow. That was Don Drysdale's call. Still, oh yeah, it hurts me. It hurts me to this day. Let me tell you about that. Yes, it really hurts. Right. And we used to call Steve. Gar books we, <laughs> we used to call Steve Garvey the Popeye arms. How are the arms? Because you know, I've shrunk them a little bit. A little they bit. were getting in the way of the driver. You mm -hmm. know, playing golf now, and I take them out on Sundays and show them off a little bit. So.